Now in this video, I've got the two N7000 N channel E MOSFET. Across the front of the transistor, I've got a nine volt DC source. On the drain side, I've got a three volt LED. On the source side, I've got a 200 ohm resistor. Now on the gate, I've got a 1K ohm resistor. I've got a nine volt DC source and a switch. And I have another resistor going from the gate to the negative side of the DC source. This value, this value of this resistor has yet to be determined. Now the question is exactly what's going on in the circuit. And the answer is absolutely nothing. And the reason we have nothing going on in the circuit is because this switch is open. And this resistor is this resistor is grounding the gate at the source. Now what this means is that there's absolutely no voltage on the gate. And the thing about MOSFETs is this. Sometimes even when you do not have an applied voltage at the gate, you still may have a charge on the gate. And this resistor makes absolutely sure that the charge is completely drained off. Now, after I close the switch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want a drain current of 20 milliamps. And the source current would also be 20 milliamps. And that means I'm going to need a voltage across my 200 ohm resistor of 4 volts. Now, in order for me to have my 4 volts, I'm going to need 6 volts across my resistor right here. This resistor will be the resistor that supplies the gate voltage. Now, I'm going to need to determine the value of my resistor. I've got 9 volts here. If I'm going to have 6 volts here, then it means I'm going to have 3 volts here. So the current that will be going through my 1K ohm resistor will be 3 volts divided by 1K ohm, and that will give you a current of Okay. 1 milliamp. But that's wrong. A current of 3 milliamps. Now, this is a series circuit. So, if I'm going to have a current of 3 milliamps flowing through my 1K ohm resistor, I will also have a current of 3 milliamps flowing through my flowing through this resistor. So now I need to find the value of my resistance. So, I'm going to go
6 volts divided by 3 milliamps. And that will give you that will give me a resistance of 2 ohms. So my resistor value right here will be 2 ohms. Now I close my switch. Now my 3 milliamps of current is now flowing through the circuit and I'm getting my 6 volts. Now, I'm going to have 3 volts here. I'm going to have 4 volts here. And my VGS will be 2 volts. So now, I've got 4 volts here, I've got 3 volts here, for a total of 7 volts, and I've got a total of 9 volts, so my VDS My VDS will be 2 volts. 4 and 3, 7. 7 and 2 equals 9. And this brings me to the end of the video. Subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for your attention.